all right good day welcome loves welcome to my channel all right so let's see what's going on with cancer here all right i'm getting cancerian vibes here all right so let's see what's going on with the cancers all right for cancer how did my lighter go it's gonna light some but all right what are we doing again? Cancer, yeah. All right, what do I got for Cancer here? For the Cancerians. All right, I'm gonna do four more shuffles. All right. There's two. There's three. And number four. It's got a glimpse of the four of cups, so you could be contemplating something here. Oh, jeez, the Cancer, there you are. Wow, with the sun card. Sun and moon. So some of you guys could be like a Leo moon. Or we have a Cancer moon with the Leo sun. What is going on here? Oh, we have the Nine of Swords. Ooh. All right, so I feel like you're torn between night and day. I feel like during the day, everything is good, but come evening, your thoughts. Could be thoughts about traveling, going home. Yeah, with the chariot here, the Four of Wands. Yeah, some of you guys could have Leo somewhere. Or you guys are close to the cutoff. No. And there you are with the can. What the hell? All right, let's see what's going on here. All right. For the moon, the sun. The Nine of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the Chariot here. The Ten of Cups. All right, so some of you guys miss your family. And at night you feel a lot of anxiety, maybe you don't sleep well. That's when the thoughts race. I feel like you're like having like a battle here what is going on here but I feel like yeah you want to I feel like you want to move move in a different direction here but the four of wands here it's like yeah you could be wanting to maybe go back home because I feel like that's where you feel like the most emotionally stable because you are a water sign so I feel like family is huge for your mental well-being. So what is stopping you? What is stopping? Because that's what I'm getting here. Because I saw the Four of Pentacles. It's like you're holding back from, or maybe you just don't have the money. Maybe you don't have the money to go back home to travel and you're stressing and you're worrying. Some of you guys are having money issues and you need to go back home. For cancer, please. That hardly ever comes out like that, the moon and the sun like that. Like, what the hell is this? And you're showing up really strong here um, with the chariot here too. I mean... It's like you have that drive, but you're, you're stressing about something. Or maybe you went back home and it's creating stress. But I feel like it's the other way around, like you're, you're thinking about home. So maybe some of y'all moved. All right, and you miss your family. All right, for Cancer. The moon, the sun, chariot. The Nine of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. We have here, wow, the Four of, 
Okay, so I feel like maybe you just abruptly left. I feel like you're wanting to, you're contemplating doing something and I'm not getting good vibes. I'm not. I don't like when a cancer is in this kind of an energy. All right. Give me for the four of cups and the ten of swords. I'm not liking the feelings that I'm feeling right now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I hope you are not thinking about doing something stupid. All right, I mean, like, please don't take your life if you're thinking like that, please. Because there are people out here that can help you. There are people that will listen. There are people that can overcome this that have. All right, um, there, there's many ways of helping people nowadays. But I'm also getting that some of you guys, you know, could be like, kind of at a crossroads with somebody, all right, your faith. So that's kind of what I'm getting here. Some of you guys, there could have been an ending with a Scorpio or a Sagittarius or another Leo or another Cancer or Leo here. Um, but I'm getting like you're, you're at a crossroads in life. You don't know what to do. Yeah, it's like, I feel like it has something, you're at a crossroads because your faith. You can heal. You just need to focus on spirituality. Yeah, because we have the devil here. I feel like, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of dark thoughts. It's a lot of sneaky energy. So maybe some of you guys hear voices. All right, but I feel like it's a lot of your anxiety that's causing this. Because... It, extreme anxiety and nine of sword ten of sword energy you know can make people hallucinate um hear things uh but yeah so i feel like you got a lot of inner demons that you keep a secret some of you guys are hiding Oh boy. You're going to heal through spirituality and faith. You can fix this. You can heal this. Okay. I don't like the vibes that I'm getting. All right. So some of you guys maybe have like addictions. You know, that could be another thing too, you know, because that can make you do stupid things. Okay. Um, can leave you sneaking, you know, doing cunning shit to feed your addiction, all right? And just maybe you're keeping it hidden from everybody, keeping it a secret. I feel like some of you guys want to die, but... It's like life can get better, okay? Life can always get better. All right, so we do have the six of swords showing up here, which is like some of you guys I feel like are wanting to move out of and put an end to any addictions or toxic behaviors. And you want to just move out of this. You don't want to lie. You don't want to sneak. You don't want to do any of that you don't want to have secrets because it's killing you on the inside mentally and emotionally you keep a lot to yourself and that's not healthy but your spirit guides are here with the six of swords trying to help guide you all right some of you guys they come in the form of a motherly figure all right i mean that could be anything from siblings that are like a motherly figure aunts um grandparents you know it doesn't always have to be a mother itself um yeah 
All right. Some of you guys could be hiding this from your mother. It's like you just feel like miserable. But there's also good positive energy here. Either that or you're just hiding and putting on a front. Which means there are hotlines, there are things. A lot of times some people are just like um, not eating the right things, you know. So they're like feeling depleted because they're not, they're lacking nu nutrients. You know, you fill your body and mind with toxic things. You know, what do you think you're going to get? So I feel like try shifting and making changes to the things that you listen to, the things that you eat you know, put in your body and ingest and the things that you feed your mind. Life is what we make it. Life is what we feed our soul. All right, so let's get this wrapped up here. So we have here, and I feel like with the five of pentacles, it's like maybe you have some sort of like abandonment issues here. And you're hanging on to that. Yeah, you've got a lot of trauma. A lot of pain, heartache, heartbreak. But you keep it to yourself. You have a choice. Do you want to live in poverty? Do you want to live in a low vibe mind? Or do you want to wake up and realize that you're kind of keeping yourself in this because it's almost like you're blocked off from moving forward here and letting good things come in for you. Some of you guys, it could be a lover walked away and it's like, and now you're just having a difficult time. Yeah, because I feel like it really hurt your feelings. The The love is still there. It's like a, almost wanting a reconciliation here. But the truth I feel like hurt. I feel like maybe they didn't want to. All right, let's wrap this up. I don't even know what I'm going to title this. I think I'm going to pull from the Guardian deck here. But, you know, it's like, it's just thoughts. Thoughts are just that, you know. We can, we can stop them by feeding ourselves with good things. We have here the seven of pentacles. Yeah, you need to water yourself. You need to nurture yourself. You need to take care of yourself and get your priorities in check. All right? You know, you're growing. Everybody is growing. And, you know, it's as we grow, obviously, you know, it's like on this tree. This tree is growing. It didn't once look like that. All right, it once used to be just a little stick in the ground, pretty much, with nothing, no leaves, nothing. And the more you tend and water and make sure it's doing good, you start to grow a more thicker stalk. Or what the hell is that called now? Why am I losing my train of thought? Um, the trunk of the tree. And then you start getting all these branches and then it bloom, starts getting little buds and then they bloom. And next thing you know, you got a full blown, beautiful tree that's providing nourishment for everybody else and itself. So grow, you know, it's like growing isn't easy. It takes a lot of tender, nurturing care to grow and blossom. It's just how it is. I feel like you're feeding your mind things that you shouldn't be because you see this staircase going up to the to the devil's ear? Yeah. It's not very good. All right. Then we have here, yeah, it's like you need to reconnect with your emotions here. Understand your emotions. You're a water sign. You're a, you're Cancerian. You're the moon. You know, you're very intuitive and empathetic. And that can really get the best of you if you don't understand. All right. So get 
Yeah, see, somebody's wanting a reunion here. Somebody walked away. All right, somebody's wanting a reunion with somebody here. They want to they want to reunite. So this could be something, you know, that happened in the past here. All right, give me for the two of cups, and then we'll wrap it up here. I know I say that, but sometimes there's just a little more that needs to come out depending on the other card that comes up. So somebody here can't get, yeah, somebody here cannot get somebody off their mind. All right, um, it's, somebody just lays there and thinks about all the pain and sadness and trauma and it doesn't do any good, yeah. And I feel like somebody here is missing their person. All right, and it's like they fantasize. There's a lot of fantasizing here. Yeah, it could be the mother, somebody's baby mama or ex-wife or something. Yeah, because we have here then the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is like a single empress, right? Just a single woman. She's not married. Um, but, yeah, I feel like it's, yeah, somebody can't get over the loss of a baby mama here. Hopefully they didn't die. Yeah. We do have here the Page of Swords. Yeah, it's like they watch, they maybe have pictures, whatever, and they fantasize and do God knows what. But then we have the tower here, because yeah, it's like they're they're stuck on this. Their life doesn't feel complete. They want to communicate, but they see you as a very strong, independent being here. And, you know, that can intimidate. So, I don't know what I'm going to caption this, but... Yeah, there was a falling out and, you know, an, an ending and somebody just doesn't, can't let it go, which you kind of have to, you know, communicate what you need to communicate and, you know, see where that leads you. And if you get rejected, that's, don't get, beat yourself up on it. That's the universe blocking you from something that is not meant for you in this life. All right. But people want to force things that aren't meant for you if it was meant for you it would stay it would come in easy you wouldn't have to go through all this shit so yeah dude what do you do i had that running yeah, no, I, I just so we have surround yourself with protective energy and then we have the father sky here trust in the unknown stand your ground all right, so I feel like, yeah, it's like you're you're leaving yourself susceptible to um, negative things in your life. All right. Protective things. Yeah, we have here, trust your instincts with the animal guardian. Right, let's try that again here. All right. Trust in the unknown. Go out and spend time in nature. All right, heal yourself and the eagle. See things from a higher perspective, okay? Move in a new direction. So, yeah, I feel like somebody wants to, yeah, it says be brave and honest. So maybe somebody's going to express, all right, how they feel. You're very intuitive, Cancer, so you can, you can sense this. So I'm going to leave that there. Have a good day.